Okay, thanks. Eh? Orchestra up in the up, room upstairs. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. They're, they're, so they're watching they're the conductor on these. Yeah, they watch the conductor yeah. on the uh, I, had, I had a commitment to do Gypsy and Diamond Hits, so. Oh, sure. Since, since they do, do the that, sun, then, so then Do <laughs> the sun, <time. laughs> Julie Stein. Sure. Get in here. Yeah. Okay. So I have one in 2009. All right. There you go. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Mr. Clark. I know that. I know that. You're terrific. Very good voice. Oh, really? Yeah, really good voice. Thank you. Yeah, very good speaking voice. Are you interviewing me? Yes. Oh my god. Will Long. Be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> yes, I will. Yeah. Will's helping me in the article too. Oh, okay. Yes. We're teaming up. We got it. We got to dress this boy. Good night, Tate. Got to clean this boy up here. Come on now. Okay. I don't have my mama's. My mama's not here. So. Anytime. Anytime. So Dean. Well. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm really good. That's good. Me too. So do you remember performing at any shows here at St. Louis? I never did. We didn't have any kind of a dramat here, oh. which is why I ended up working off campus so much. I, you know, at the Honolulu Community Theater, the Honolulu Theater for Youth, and the Symphony. Um, if I had been here, I probably wouldn't have strayed. That's right. Yeah. We also, did, you know, we didn't have a Mamiya theater. Oh, I remember true. there was one production done when I was a freshman, and they put up a little stage um, in the middle of the gymnasium floor, and I don't even remember what it was, but I was a freshman, and it was all seniors, and that was it. That's it. Yeah, that was about as much oh. as a drama program. We're lucky. You know, Kakakuno has brought things yeah. way into the 21st century here. We're lucky. Yeah. And what was it like working with Bob Fosse? Well, I guess I was ready for the part. I came off of doing a year and a half in Godspell. Oh. So I had been singing and dancing eight shows a week, uh, which was, you know, like going into training for the Olympics. And two days. Two days, yeah. 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 Um, and then when I went into Pippin, it was, you kind of carry the show, you know, so there was a great deal of stamina needed, but I was physically up to it. Mm -hmm. um, but. There were a lot of refinements that I had to work into the role, and Mr. Fossey was very good about He did something that was so classy. He, instead of coming back and talking to me after the show, I would come to my dressing room the next day, and on my dressing table would be a typewritten uh, list of notes. And uh, he would go home and dictate them into a tape recorder. His secretary would tape them up. They would be sent to the theater, and I would have... So it wasn't like, what did he say? I forget what he was. In. No, it was all typed there for me to, re you know. And then I go and do the show, and I come back and see, did I do that? Did I do that? Did I remember to do that? Oh yeah. yeah. It was very respectful. There was something very old school about the way that we handled the whole thing. What is your favorite musical? Oh gosh, my favorite musical. I, you know, there are all the great classics like Gypsy and uh, West Side Story and things like that. I. You know what? I think it was, I'd have to say Music Man, because it was the first musical I ever saw. Oh. And I saw it here in Honolulu, and it was performed at McKinley, McKinley High School, had an auditorium. And I don't even know what group did it. I don't think it was a high school group. But it was some performing group that got it together and did the show. And I went to see it. We sat in the balcony. And I was on the aisle, and my mother said that she remembers looking over, and my seat was empty. And I had become so caught up in what was happening that I had wandered down the road to the railing of the first balcony. And I was leaning out <laughs> over the back, like if I could join them on the stage. It was a, a, a total out-of-body experience. Oh, wow. And they kind of came and snatched me back from the railing. Yeah. But that, that musical made a big, big impact, obviously. When did you say to yourself, I have made it? I never have. I wow. never have. I don't, because I don't know what it is. Um, it's. 
No, I mean, I'm still working to this day. I'm still writing things. I'm in talks about other projects. Um, I, no, I think I'll probably say it when I close my eyes for the last time. Then I've made it. But otherwise, it's, there's just too many interesting people and too many interesting things to explore. So I'm not going to stop until I do it all. Yeah. So yeah. From the days of manual typewriters to the internet, which world are you connected to? Well, I am what they call a Luddite. Do you know what a Luddite is? It's somebody who's hopelessly mired in the past, incapable of handling technology. I can't figure out how to text message. Oh. I'm so... I'll teach you. <laughs> okay, I'm really, really bad about that sort of thing. Um, but I enjoy the internet, you know, right. I use it, I use my computer, it helps enormously. At the same time, when I sit down to write lyrics, I step away from my desk, I sit down with a pad of paper and I handwrite. I handwrite everything and I will fill up reams and reams and reams of paper, but the experience of making my hands make the letters, which is different from the undifferentiated click, 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 click of a typewriter, I still marvel and love the act of making the words and um, it just so looks beautiful. it looks beautiful well not by the time I finish with my chicken scroll <laughs> and arrows that go around here and uh, connecting things and then I tear pieces of paper and I save them and I stick them further in the in, in the, the notebook book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's a it's a kind of a mess uh, but it's the way that, that I get to what I have to get right. to and I can't imagine I could do that with a computer I have to, uh, I, have to, I, have to I have to hold it right. I have to hold it and I have to shape it with my hands so that's that's the difference in, in the like ways in which it's like a baby. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. It's like actor, lyricist, screenwriter, director, author. How do you identify yourself? Um, I'm one local boy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one local boy who, who got curious. We know your contributions to the St. Louis Performing Arts program. What inspires you to, as they say, give back? I, St. Louis gave me so much, you know. I, I left Star of the Sea, eighth grade, and I, the only way I could have come here was on a scholarship, and they gave me a full scholarship. They gambled on me, and that at a time in my life when I needed to be, get some value, to be valued, right. they gave me some value. Wow. Uh, great value, great, great value, and a great, great education. And. Uh, it changed my life. It changed my life. How do you how do you give back fully adequately for somebody having changed your life? Yeah. They really truly really changed. My life. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Brother. Oh. That was great. That was great.